All right, now we have our stuff ready to go. I'm gonna walk you through wheel throwing. Uh, so first step is called centering. And to do this, I take my sponge and I add a lot of water to the surface. Your hands and your clay should always be wet while doing this. It's so that your hands can glide on the clay and also glide off pretty simply. All right, I'm going to start by centering. So if you look right now, the clay is only touching my hands in a couple of spots. And it's kind of, if I rest my hands on it, my hands are moving. I'll know it's centered when they can sit on the clay and they're not wiggling around like this. All right, so to do this, I brace my arms against my body. Some people will put their arms against their side. Some people will put them on their thigh. Some will rest on the splash pan. But the whole point is to use your palms so you can push in and push back down again to try and get the clay to mimic what the wheel is doing. All right, so I'm starting with my hands on the sides, kind of in a pyramid shape. And I'm gonna start by pushing in. Now you'll notice the clay went up because if I'm pushing it on the sides, it only has a place to go up. Now I'm gonna use the same part, that palm. I'm gonna put my arms together, still bracing against my body, and I'm gonna push back down again. All right, so this is pretty close to centered. Now if I rest my hands on it, you'll see they're not moving too much. I'm still a little bit off. I'm gonna show you a common mistake though. So if I'm working on centering and I'm pulling the clay in, and then I just jump off really fast. What happens is you knock off the clay. So anytime you put your hands on and start applying pressure or take them off, you wanna slowly start that process and slowly back off again instead of trying to do it all in one quick motion. This is something that you need a lot of focus on to get successful at. And even though I was able to do it in maybe three or four times, it might take you 10 to 15 to get there. All right, the next step after centering is called making a hole, okay? So what I'm gonna do is use my two thumbs and drill down in the center. Just like I needed the walls to be centered, I also need the hole to be in the center where the whole piece is off. All right, so I'm gonna wrap my hands around. I'm still putting my arms against my body. In this case, I'm putting them against my thighs and I'm keeping my arms together because I have more strength when I keep them together. All right, I'm slowly gonna start drilling down. I've gone down about an inch and I'm noticing the clay feels a little dry, so I'm just gonna add a little bit of water and I'm gonna keep going down. Now, if you noticed, I moved up a little bit because I needed to get a better access, better grip on what I was doing. All right, so now I think I made my hole deep enough. It still looks pretty centered. So now I'm going to stop my wheel and I'm gonna test how wide the bottom is or how thick it is. So I'm gonna stick my needle tool straight down in while the wheel is stopped. Now, if I go to grab it with one hand, extending my index finger, and just placing it on the floor, I can see that my base is about a half inch thick, maybe a little bit bigger. That's about perfect, maybe just slightly smaller, basically a quarter of an inch to a half inch thick is what you want. So I'm just gonna push down a tiny bit more before continuing. All right, so at the beginning you want your wheel to go fast, but as you continue on through, you want it to be going a little bit slower with each phase because then you've got, a, it's a, a little bit less uh, strong the more space you have between the clay. So at the beginning it's a ball, so you can be really, really um, more aggressive with the speed, but as it gets this interior and the walls get thinner, you wanna go slower. All right, so right now I've got a hole that's about this big in this. So if I'm trying to make a coffee cup, I want the base to be a little bit wider. So instead of this, which is what I have, I want it to be about this big. So all I'm gonna do is try to pull the wall that's in front of me towards myself so that the base goes from this big to about this big. And the way it looks, I put my left hand on the side, put my right hand on the middle, okay? I'm putting my right hand fingers, as many as I can fit on the inside, and I'm actually putting my thumb on the outside. So you can't see it, but my thumb is actually holding the outside of that wall. And most of the work is gonna be done with these fingers. So all I'm gonna do is pull it back towards myself, it's a very slow process and I only need to do a little bit. So already that hole went from being about this big to this big. Now common mistakes with this step 
Some people just pull, instead of having the whole wall move out, they'll pull just the top out and then you end up with more of a bowl shape. But we're going for cylinder, so you wanna try and have a flat bottom and then a straight wall going up. All right, good, so next step. After I make the hole and make the bottom by pulling it out, now I'm gonna do what's called pulling up the walls. This is one of the harder parts to accomplish. You need to go slower and be gentle. It's where a lot of beginners break their pieces. So first thing I'm gonna do is just feel the thickness of my piece top to bottom. I see that it's the thinnest right at this top, and then it's about even with a little extra lump right near the top here. So I'm, my goal is to move the clay upward. The easiest way to do that is to start at the base and pinch the clay from the inside and the outside, and that'll make a little tire, and then you can slowly pull that clay up with your hands. So I'm gonna do this by leaning to my right side. My right elbow is against my thigh. This is gonna be an anchor so that I can hold my hand steady. And then my top hand, since I don't have the same area to anchor it against my body, I'm actually gonna lean it against my right hand. So it kind of looks like this. I've got a uh, butterfly here. We've got crossed thumbs in the middle. 